Hello everyone and welcome to another video about ServiceNow and all the fun stuff you can do in it. Today we're going to look at a quick one about templates that I actually learned myself through answering a question on the community about using roles and not groups or users to set the access rights to the templates. So let me just <coughs> get up my video and there I am sitting inside when it's too hot outside and trying to make a video been a while so bear with me so basically the question or the requirements here was to to be able to set the, the access level on roles itself and not only on groups and stuff like that and if you look at the templates out of the box template.list and let's take an easy one for instance, <clears throat> out of the box, you normally, when it's loaded, I guess. Come on, don't make me reload it. Three, two, one, go. Ha, huh, too scared of me. So basically, normally use users just to have a private one. <clears throat> or you specify a specific group, or you make the, the template global so everyone can use it. But now, <clears throat> instead of doing like this, the requirement was that you should just say, if the user has this role, then it will be able to use the template. So what you can do, and I didn't know about it because I found it out when I started digging around, is that there are actually a roles fields as well. So if we configure form layout and take roles and move it up here and save. Now there is a little tweak about it. So you can't only just use roles, you actually need to also use global, otherwise roles won't check. So what I have done, I just made a dummy role called a template something, template role Goran. So I'll say that you will need this role to be able to use this. Now, just to show you, let's, let's save it. Now let's take in our guinea pig, Beth. And now you will see, that was, let me just double check. I've been playing around with it for a while, so. Do Beth have my role or not? Of course she doesn't. Let's give it first to her. Template. Like that. Now let's go to Beth again. Let's get the role. Let's log in as that. There we go. So now that has this role, but since the global isn't checked, you will notice top list. <clears throat> Let's go to instant. You notice that she can't find this one. But if I switch back to the template, Check the global one, hit save. And go back to Beth and I'll just reload. And now, ta-da, the template exists. So if you're going to use roles, you have to make sure that the global is checked as well. Otherwise, it doesn't really care about it. And just to, to show you that it really works, let's go back to Beth. Let's remove the template role from Beth. Then we have to log out and log in again. I usually do like this instead, in, instead of impersonating, because I would like to keep the admin so I can play around. 
the whole time. So we're all back. Let's go to our incident. And now we can see that she doesn't have the role, so you can't see the template. So that was a quick summer video about how to use roles on templates. And hopefully I'll have time to make more videos when it's too hot outside. So thanks for watching and bye bye.